thousands of species of animals live in the world. While the majority of these species are spread around the world, the species I'm going to talk about in this video only live in a small part of the world. Let's move on to the video. Proboscis monkey. Endemic to Borneo and Indonesian island, these creatures are known for the striking noses that can be seen on the male monkeys. Though they live in trees, they are adept swimmers with webbed feet and hands. Proboscis monkeys are threatened by the devastation of their region's rainforests by those harvesting timber and palm oil. San Francisco Garter Snake Though it's named after the big city, the San Francisco garter snake can only be found around the freshwater ponds in nearby San Mateo County. They are known for their black, red-orange, black stripe pattern and feed on California red-legged frogs, another threatened species. The decline of their main source of food and loss of habitat due to both urban and agricultural developments have been extremely detrimental to this unique population. Pygmy hawk. With fewer than 250 pygmy hogs remaining, their dwindling population is doing all that it can to keep the species going in the grasslands surrounding the Himalayan mountains. The tiny wild pigs have been negatively impacted by human influence on their grasslands, which have been transformed to meet the needs of agricultural and commercial endeavors. Efforts are being made by conservationists to introduce captive pygmy hogs to the wild and educate local people on how they can help protect their habitat. Javan Rhino The Javan Rhino's total population is estimated to be around 60, and each and every one of them lives on the island of Java in Indonesia's Yujung Kulon National Park. They once lived throughout northern India and Southeast Asia, but poaching has isolated the species to this single location. They grow to be roughly 10 feet tall, can weight up 5,000 pounds, and are gray in color. Tasmanian Devil Even though Looney Tunes has made them a household name worldwide, the Tasmanian Devil only lives on the Australian island of Tasmania. Strictly carnivorous and every bit as wild as their cartoon portrayal suggests, you don't want to get in the way of one of these bad boys when they're showing off their sharp teeth. Though a contagious cancer threatens their population, they've been a protected species since 1941. Texas Blind Salamander The Texas blind salamander exists in one pool of an aquifer in a specific region of Texas. The salamander, which lives in San Marcos Pool in a cave in Hayes County, Texas, grows to about 5 inches long all told. The predator-prey relationship of the cave means that the salamander eats a blind shrimp also only found in the pond and several smaller species of insects and mollusks. Texas conservation biologists have tried to breed the salamander in case something happens at this small biome. Of course, people have decided to be total jerks about it, possibly stealing hundreds of them from a lab. Of course, the thief might have been a hungry raccoon. Guadalupe fur seal The Guadalupe fur seal can only be found in great numbers on one island in the world, Isla Guadalupe. The island is located about 124 miles off the coast of Mexico in the Pacific. A few colonies have moved elsewhere, but by and large, the 10,000 seals sit contently on the coast of the island's 94 square miles. Socorro Isopod This tiny relative of the ocean-faring isopod once had a range of roughly three springs in New Mexico. Then it was nearly wiped out. According to Atlas Obscura, Cedillo Springs dried up in 1988 due to a spring flow obstruction killing off the last wild isopods. A captive breeding program led to a new population of the isopods, which were placed in eight concrete tanks to more closely regulate the last outpost of the species. Vaquito The vaquito is a dolphin relative that's less than five feet long. It's confined to a narrow area in the northern part of the Gulf of California, where poaching and fishermen's nets have driven its meager population to the brink of extinction. There are around 30 left in the wild. Kirtland's Warbler 
In the upper peninsula of Michigan and the southern tip of Ontario in spring and summer, you can find the Kirtland's warbler. You can't find it much of anywhere else. The bird requires dense areas of jack pine to make its habitat, something only found in the taiga region of North America. After a population bottleneck in the 20th century that led it to extinction, the bird has since rebounded. Of course, climate change's effects on the taiga could change that depending on the fortunes of the jack pine. Salt Creek Tiger Beetle The Salt Creek in Lincoln, Nebraska is a remnant of an ancient sea. As the saline water moved out, it left behind salt deposits. It also left behind the Salt Creek Tiger Beetle. Less than 400 beetles live along the creek and a nearby marsh, making it one of the most endangered insects in the world. Pinta Island Tortoise Hold on, you say? The Pinta Island tortoise is dead, snuffed out when Lonesome George took his last breath. You are mostly right, but there's a bizarre twist in the story. A few Pinta Island tortoises may still be alive, just not on Pinta Island. Pinta is one of many islands in the Galapagos chain. The islands are most famous for influencing the works of Charles Darwin, as each island seemed to have unique variations on the same species. That meant that there were several subspecies of Galapagos tortoises around the island chain. Here's where it gets a bit gruesome. Tortoises were often held on ships over long periods of time as a food source. They need relatively little food themselves, meaning that the giant tortoises could make a feast for sailors any time needed. As expeditions wound down, a few of those tortoises were thrown overboard, some near Isabella Island. Isabella Island has an area cut off from the rest of the land called Volcano Wolf. At some point, a few Pinta Island tortoises found themselves washing up on these shores and breeding with their cousin subspecies there. We found the offspring of these trysts. They appeared to be relatively young and first-generation hybrids, meaning that the Pinta Island tortoise can still, possibly, be found on Isabella Island. Tuatara The Tuatara has remained only slight changed in the last 220 million years and likely will survive with only light tweaks for the next 220 million. The primitive reptile can only be found on chains of islands off the coast of the North Island of New Zealand. One species, the Brothers Island Tuatara, has only about 400 individuals on North Brother Island, but the island is small enough that this hasn't imperiled the lizard yet. Around 60,000 other individuals of the Northern Tuatara are scattered across 29 islands. After the eradication of rats, their numbers rebounded and are considered least concerned by the IUCN. The Brothers Island Tuatara is listed as vulnerable. Thanks for watching. This video took seven hours with subject research, voiceover, and production. I need your support as we are a new channel. You can support me by liking, commenting, and subscribing to the video. See you soon.